Ariana Resources is an AIM listed gold exploration and development company with joint venture gold mining operations in Turkey, the largest gold producing country in Europe. Uh, ongoing exploration and development is supported by a profitable uh, mining project in Western Turkey. It's just announced a disposal. It's quite a complicated deal. Uh, let's catch up now with the chief executive, Dr. Karim Senna. Karim, good to talk to you again. Uh, just to quickly run round what's happening here, because I said it's quite a complicated deal. It involves a disposal, but it doesn't actually mean that Ariana is losing contact with the asset we're talking about. Well, firstly, uh, good to join you, Jeremy. And you're absolutely right. Uh, we're certainly not losing contact with the assets in Turkey. Uh, we'll be playing a central role in the continued exploration and development of the assets uh, that are becoming part of an expanded joint venture uh, with the incoming partner, Erzultan Holdings, uh, one of Turkey's largest construction conglomerates, um, injecting a total of um, both in terms of deal value plus um, contributions to the development of Sullenbush of $63 million. Um, so obviously that gives uh, um, shareholders and investors a sense of uh, the total value of our portfolio, um, they, they are taking 53% of what will become an expanded um, joint venture with our existing JV partners, Prasir Construction, diluting to 23.5%, um, ourselves also diluting to 23.5%, with Erzultan taking uh, the lion's share of the new JV um, and sucking the Sullenbush asset into the joint venture within which we already have the Kuzultepe operating mine and the Taoshan development asset. Are you, are you on some sort of um, long-term uh, deal with uh, this company though, that's bought the assets and this, this joint venture? Are, are you tied into a long period of, of JV? Oh, yeah, very, very much so. Um, we're both ourselves and our existing partners, uh, Prasir Construction, are absolutely integral to the ongoing success of um, the expanded joint venture. Uh, so the, the incoming partner is looking to us um, to contribute to exploration development specifically, uh, because obviously our team has been very adept at um, finding, identifying and developing resources. Um, and our partners, likewise, Prasia, have been fantastic um, project managers. Um, and in fact, you know, they've done a fantastic job with the construction of the Kazultepe processing plant and they've run the mine fantastically. So um, Erzultan can see the, the value in the existing partnership and they're effectively buying into that uh, track record, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, other headlines recently, I see that you've uh, renewed the operating license at Iverindi. Now, I know Iverindi last year was an interesting um, uh, thing that was going on because going into this license renewal period, you had uh, pulled back a little bit from the exploration and uh, development of the site. Does this license renewal now mean you're going to accelerate again, going back into this project with more vigour? Yeah, that, that's absolutely the case. Um, so Even India um, is an asset that we've held for, for many years now. It was actually one of the very first um, deposits that we identified in our own right um, off the back of uh, remote sensing work. Um, we've, we've gone on to develop a, a small, or identified a small resource there. Um, there's certainly scope to grow that resource as we identified last year. Um, but we had to sort of put our um, exploration plans on hold while we went through the uh, renewal process on the license. Um, we've now secured a further extension of 10 years on the operating license. There's also a forestry application in process. As soon as we've got the forestry application, hopefully later this year, then we'd look to drill the, those targets that we identified last year and continue to grow the resource. Because although the resource is relatively small um, at Ivrindi, uh, we're already demonstrating that is potentially of the grade um, to, to warrant trucking to the Kuzultepe plant for processing. So it could become part of the, the wider um, Red Rabbit JV um, production assets. When will we know about how good this asset is, is potentially? Uh, we'll have to drill it first. Um, so I'm hoping, obviously, cur current circumstances have had uh, various limitations on uh, both uh, the way that um, the, the ministries in Turkey have been able to deal with things like forestry applications, um, but in terms of just organising things like drilling programmes has been a little bit more problematic. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, we're coming out the uh, the worst of the, the coronavirus crisis, so to speak, 
um, and we'll be able to commence drilling um, at Idrindir in the latter part of this year once we've secured those forestry permits. And actually, like, likewise, with our Kuzulchukur assets, um, Kuzulchukur being much closer to the Kuzultepe plant, uh, we're looking to um, further develop that and undertake uh, bulk trial processing of that material at the plant. Yeah, I was going to ask about uh, COVID and the interruption uh, to any mining operations that you're undertaking at the moment. Uh, we are hearing about, um, uh, well away from where you are geographically, we're hearing about uh, the downside to uh, copper production in Chile because of the uptick in COVID cases there. What about COVID in Turkey and the uh, mining area you're talking about here? Is there much that's interrupting your operations there? Yes, well, touch wood, um, our operations have not been affected by it. We haven't identified a single case um, in the vicinity of the, the mine site. I mean, there are in the broader region, the, the province that we're operating in, uh, there are obviously cases, uh, likewise, across the rest of the country. But um, Turkey's done a very good job um, in um, track and trace, uh, ensuring social distancing, um, distributing, freely distributing face masks to, to everyone in the country. So, so they've, they've implemented a number of measures to try and control uh, the situation. And, and likewise, we have as well at the mine site. So we reduce, reduce staff numbers um, effectively to a skeleton team to keep the mine operational. And we, we haven't skipped a beat. Um, you know, we're, we're still hitting all our production targets. Um, so, you know, despite uh, these issues, um, we've very much maintained um, our, our progress on the project. And, and now, as of the last couple of weeks, um, the, the situation in Turkey has eased uh, somewhat because of the measures that were taken by the government. Um, and things are starting to come back to normal, um, albeit that everyone's in face masks. Yeah, yeah, of course. So uh, long may that last, of course, not the face mask, but the but the progress that Turkey's making, and of course, in the mining district there to ensure that production continues. Let me just quickly um, introduce a share price chart in here. Uh, we, we've seen this rise recently. I think actually uh, your market cap has, has reached a record just recently here in London on the exchange of 46 million, I believe. Uh, what's the message to shareholders? Clearly, much of what we've seen in terms of upside is, is what's happening with the price of gold. But obviously, at the same time, as you've explained, you're making good progress. Yeah, we're making good progress across the whole portfolio. We have been uh, very much so uh, since early last year when we commenced a, a, a complete uh, uh, reappraisal of all projects. Um, we drilled just about every single project um, during the course of last year, including Solenbush. And of course, that's helped us lead into um, the proposed new joint venture. Um, in, in addition to that, of course, we have um, expanded our interest somewhat into Cyprus as well through our earning into Venus Minerals. Um, so we're hoping to announce further on our activities there as well. OK, just one final question has to be about the recent announcement that you've delayed uh, the publication of, I think it was a full year results through to the end of 2019. Why? What, what, what's happening? What's, uh, your, what's your messaging there? Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, no messaging other than um, coronavirus, really. Um, it, the, the Turkish audit um, started a little bit later than planned and, of course, was, was hit by the lockdowns that were implemented in Turkey. So um, the, basically the auditors couldn't undertake the field work, so to speak, um, on the, the Turkish subsidiary company. So that's, that audit was only very recently completed in Turkey and we're able to now start completing uh, the audit of the group accounts. Yeah. OK, well, look, um, good luck with everything. Thanks indeed for joining us. And maybe someday soon we'll be getting back together much. again. I know you're, you're still based in Perth there on indeed. lockdown, but uh, we'll see it sometime. Indeed. Hopefully we'll get yeah. back together. But Karim, in the meantime, thanks indeed for joining us. Look forward to uh, it. That's Thank Dr. You. Karim Senna. He's the chief executive of Ariana Resources.